If you go out and breathe the fresh air, it makes you feel calm and comfortable, and makes you free from negative thoughts and psychological pressure. Today we will learn how to clean the outside yard of the house, paying attention to the notes and instructions. First, you must wear light and comfortable shoes. Second, wear a mask to protect your respiratory system from dust. Third, use the correct tools for outside the home. One the first step to cleaning the outside courtyard of the house is to sweep the floor, starting from the back of the house to the main entrance. To arrange bicycles and objects lying on the ground, by lifting them and placing them correctly in the shade, away from sunlight. 3. Sweep the entrance stairs, under the rug and shoes, and rearrange them correctly. Here the woman threw the rug in an untidy way, like an old woman. Four, remove dead trees if there are plants. Five, if there are plants next to the wall, you can sweep the dust in the plant area. Six, collect all the piles of leaves in a plastic bag to throw away later, so that they do not scatter again and spoil your cleaning. 7. The front of the house is the most important place that must be cleaned and arranged well. Be careful not to wash the floor before cleaning it of dust as in the previous method, as it will be difficult for you to push it with water to try to get it out of the house. You can add soap or floor disinfectant to the bucket of water and stir it until it mixes well. Pour some water on the floor, and then scrub the floor well with a long brush to get rid of traces of cars, feet, bicycles, and any dirt. This method is economical to conserve water and is easier to dispose of and control its quantity. Clean the corners and scrub the stubborn stains, then rinse it with water and make sure it is clean. Wash the floor with water after cleaning it with soap so that it is not slippery and make sure that the soap does not reach the plants. If the outer courtyard of your house is large and you are forced to use water, you must be quick to use it and not waste or waste it so that God does not deprive you of its goodness. Watering and Washing Trees but be careful not to spray electrical sockets, windows or doors with water. The floor must be dried so that the water dries faster and so that no one walks on it and falls. After completing cleaning, wipe the windows and doors from the outside well. Wipe the corners and clean them of dust and wipe the front in front of the windows. Clean and organize bicycles, toys, and anything outside. Clear the shoes outside and arrange them, arrange everything. Wipe the outdoor seating area, the table, and move the furniture every week and sweep what is underneath it. If this place is used on a daily basis, it must be cleaned daily. Because if food is eaten here, the food will fall and insects will come, so it must be cleaned periodically so that they do not come. 
Clean the storage room by dusting the shelves and mopping the floor every week. If you are vacuuming the inside of the house, open the door and vacuum the front. This will make it easier for you to clean. Sweep the carpet, shake it, vacuum what is underneath it, and arrange it. Don't put shoes in front of the entrance, keep them next to the wall. If you finish using the cleaning tools, put them back in their place. Do not leave the mop in front of the entrance to the house. Keep it in a place where it cannot be seen. This video makes it easier for you to clean correctly, clearly and professionally. Work comfortably and you will be happy no matter how complicated things are. If a person enters the house and sees the outside clean, this gives a feeling that there is a wonderful and clean person in the house. Thanks for watching. This video was produced by Kagad Trading Company.